The first new Corvette ZR1 goes for big dollars, Acura designers choke on the new NSX, and it's spy photo madness in the rumor mill. I'm Matt Farah from the New York Motor Club, host of the Garage 419, and I finally have my own theme song. Although it's kind of creepy. This past weekend, all eyes were on the Barrett Jackson Auto Auction in Scottsdale, Arizona. I know that my TiVo is chock full of this stuff. That's the place where the rich guys and the trophy wives who, who love them come to drop mad dough on the collector cars. It's also where the first Corvette ZR1 sold for a fairly mad 1 million bucks. Not content waiting a few months to get a ZR1 for the reported sticker price of 99 grand, North Dakota Chevy dealer Dave Ressler dropped seven figures on GM's fat barrel head. Of course, money's going to charity, so tax deductible. GM hasn't released performance figures on the ZR1 yet, but that means the cash outlay is fine for publicity, but as investments go, we'll stick with the Polar Ice Cap futures. And if you think you've got pressure at work, the designers at Acura are not feeling your pain. That's because they've got problems of their own. Automotive News reports Acura's styling team is having trouble settling on a look for their new V10-powered Nissan GTR fighter. Companies already teased us with versions of the new model like the advanced sports car concept shown at last year's Detroit Auto Show. That car was a sleek front-engine GT car, but bosses say it's still not quite right. The new sports car is set to replace the mid-engine NSX, which went on production in 2005. Automotive News says if all goes well in the design studio, we could possibly see the new Acura by 2010. If it doesn't, expect more needless gallons of Indy ink spilled in the name of Japanese hotness. Next up, an upgrade to an unruly SUV, a pre-launch Mercedes SL shows up in Jersey of all places, and 007's four-door is caught sucking dino juice. That's in the internet rumor mill after this. It will help change people's lives. Are you bringing any weapons? Of course not. You're not changing anything. Theaters January 25th. Okay, so in terms of scheduling for next week, I'm thinking Monday is the uh, special. Tuesday, the 22nd, Matt Barrow is going to host. <coughs> Excuse me? No, no, just, just keep going. Wednesday, the 23rd, and Thursday, the 24th, Derek, you'll be hosting. I like it. What? No, just, just keep going. We're going good. The good news is, though, on Friday, January 25th, and then the following week, Friday, February 1st, we're going to roll out some new hosts for FLV. Oh, yeah, that's right, that's right. Good idea, good idea. Oh, yeah, no, 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 I get it. You guys are going to throw me in, like, a wig and, like, some glasses or something. Maybe look like a chick or something. I was told yeah. once I look good dressed up like a girl. Mm. That's a good idea. I like that. We just think it's time to get some new hosts. We love you, but, you know, rounding out the uh, the show for our viewers, oh, it's time good. to roll out some new hosts. So we're going to try out some new hosts. What? But I think our what? viewers are really going to like. What are you guys talking about? I'm Derek D. Derek. I am Mr. FLD. Derek. I'm out of your mess. Derek, come on. FLD. New host. FLD. New host. FLD. New host. Has anyone seen Kenny around? Anyone? Kenny? Is he? I'm going to let you in on a little secret. You know that Fastlane Daily is available on your favorite internet video provider, but did you know that it goes up on streetfire.net first? Don't believe me? Go there now. Check it out. streetfire.net. Booyakasha. That's just terrible every time I do it. Cut that. <laughs> or don't. Make fun of me and run it. Some call it a groundbreaking vehicle that expands the SUV paradigm. Others call it ugly as a hat full of liver spots. But whatever side you're on, the Infiniti FX is not going away, and the latest version of the sport truck that looks like a sneaker has just turned up in front of Spy Shooter's camera lenses. A report from Dutch Auto Week calls it the new FX55. That would make it the next generation V8 powered FX. Of course, it's just conjecture at this point. Word is the redesigned FX series will debut in 2009, including the FX37, powered by Nissan's latest 3.7 liter V6. As for the supposed FX55, insiders say the new V8 will likely be in even 5 liters. Now, moving right along. Our own JF Musial caught this Mercedes SL test car on the mean streets of Hoboken, New Jersey. And uh, by mean, we mean there's only two Starbucks. JF didn't have a digicam, so he whipped out his MacBook to get a closer look with the mini cam. Too bad for him. The official pictures of the SL leaked only hours after he spotted the tester and he was forced to look like an idiot running down the street with a computer taking pictures. As for JF, we'll be getting him a steady cam for his laptop. And finally, 
New spy shots surfaced of Aston Martin's latest sedan. The car many thought was shelled when Ford sold Aston in 2007, but the Rapide appears to be alive and well and drinking from a fountain of liquefied gold that you probably know as a gas pump. There's no word on how much super unleaded it took, but we won't get our first look at the production Rapide until next year at the earliest. Now what do you think? Is the Rapide hot, like I think, or not? Let us know at tips at fastlanedaily.com or down below in the comment box. Now that wraps up Fastlane Daily for today. Tune in tomorrow when Craig Jackson has to beg for three grand for his 86 240DL wagon. Peace. And cut. Dude, Alan, where's Kenny? Seriously. He's supposed to like, you know, help me with this and he, uh, he's not returning calls, emails, what's going on? Seriously. Anyone? Anyone? I think he called in sick. Dude. Someone get that kid some vaccines or something. Fast Lane Daily is brought to you by Rambo, starring Sylvester Stallone in theaters January 25th.